this is Muhammad Siddiq and Ami, and you're watching this video through HRBox channel. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about how to implement an organization policy. Enactment alone, it doesn't ensure that your policy will be successful. But additionally, there are other steps we have to consider to make us able to uh, successfully implement our organization policy. Before going to talk about our today's topic, let's answer a question. Why implementation of a policy is important? When you create and enact your policy, this means that 90% of your task has been done and only 10% has left to achieve your goal. And the 10% which related to implementation of your policy is very important. This means if you didn't implement your policy in the best way, it uh, the ninety percent of your job that you already has been done, and the time that you have spent, the money that you have spent, it's all would be all would be uh, useless. In order to implement your organization policy, there are three steps mainly we have to consider to implement our policy in the best way. Step number one: identifying the group of people who have a part to implement your policy. The first group is the HR department, the second group would be uh, uh, managers and supervisors, and the third group, of course, the employee. So, and the first group of people, which are the HR department, they are playing a very important role to implement the policy because they created the policy and they have the resource uh, available with them, and they are the people who can uh, 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 give trained managers and supervisors that how to implement this policy within the organization. So HR is the first group of people who has played a key role in implementation of organization policy. Group number two is managers and supervisors. Managers and supervisors are the second key very important people because they are the people who can get trained from the, from, from the employer or from the HR. And they are the people who can work with the employee to uh, uh, how to implement this policy within the organization. So they are the second very important group of people in an organization. And the third group of people who has a playing a role for implementation of the policy is employee themselves. Step number two, source and implementation. Friends, this is the responsibility of HR departments or the employer to providing the resource and procedure to the employees because without the procedure, it's impossible to implement the policy. And in another side, this is the responsibility of manager to clearly communicate with the employee why we need this policy, why we created this policy, and what is the benefit for the employee if we have this policy, and what is the benefit of the organization if we have this kind of policy. So it needs to be communicated uh, regularly with the employee, especially when with their weekly or at least monthly meetings. It, it, it needs to be communicated on, on, on a regular basis with the employer. It's also responsibility of employee to respect the rules, procedure, and the policy that has been created by their organization. Step number three, monitoring. Friends, without the monitoring, it's impossible to achieve your success, especially when you're implementing your organization policy. Based on my experience, in most of the organization, when they're creating the policy for the first time, they are just sending an email to the all employee and they are attaching their policy that we have created this policy and that attaches for you more information, which is very funny. And the, the, people, the employee needs to be trained about the policy and before creating the policy, you have to keep informing the employee that you are going to create this kind of policy within your organization. So they have to be informed in advance and they need to be trained about the policy and the procedure that how to implement the policy. So when you're working in an organization and when you're receiving an email that the, your organization has created a new policy and they are just sending an email to the all employee and just putting their policy as attachment, especially when you see the policy which is more than 30 or 35 pages. So it is, of course, they are not sexist in implementation of the policy. And of course, Implementation of a policy needs time. You need to get feedback regularly if there is any issue with the policy. So you have to fix and you have to adjust the policy according to your needs. That is why monitoring is a very important to be considered at a third step of implementation of the policy. Thank you friends for watching. If you didn't subscribe to our channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe 
and like for more videos.